Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of A Piece of New York. Today we find ourselves on City Island, which is actually a little island that's part of the Bronx here in New York, but it actually doesn't really feel like BX. To tell you the truth, it actually has a nice New England feel. Now this island stretches about one and a half miles long and is about a half a mile wide. And with a population of 5,000 people, I mean, this place, it would take 10 times that to sell out a game at Yankee Stadium. Now the island, it wasn't always named City Island. It actually, in 1761, Benjamin Palmer purchased the island, and what he wanted to do is he wanted to actually develop an island that rivaled the port of New York City, because what he understood was that all the ships that were traveling north and south throughout the Long Island Sound would pass by this island, and he figured that this could be a safe haven, or a place where actually these ships can go and be serviced, so he had this vision to have restaurants, homes, really build an entire industry up here that would service these ships. But in 1776, the stars and bars took over, and all those investors ended up losing all their money. It never really became the developed island that he was hoping for. Now, in 1898, the island actually became part of New York City, because before that, it was actually part of Westchester. But if there's one thing that I am excited for today, it's trying that delicious seafood up here at City Island. Well, folks, after an easy walk up the island and down the island, we've come to what seemed like the most obvious choice, Sammy's Tropical Patio. And the thing with Sammy, he seems to be a little bit of a Donald Trump here on the island. What I mean by that is he's got real estate all over the place. He's got this tropical patio. He's got this, the fish box. He's got the lobster box. He's got the shrimp box. He's got a ton of restaurants up here that are all in this tight area of City Island. And my goodness, of course, after taking a look at the menu and some of the pictures online, this was the place that I had to go. So let's go inside, check it out, see what they're all about. So what we have right here is Sammy's famous complimentary offerings. Every table receives two home baked breads, followed by a relish tray that's mixed with olives. Let's start off with that appetizer, that complimentary bread. And here you can see, looks pretty appetizing. I will say this, I've never had cheese served with my cornbread. I don't know, but let's try that first. Ooh, I can tell right now, just by cutting into it. Crispy, crispy crust, and then a soft, obviously, crumble inside. Mmm. Yep, a delicious hint of corn. They got it, they got it. Let's have that cheese. The bread just falls apart right in your mouth. Delicious, a little bit dry. I will say this, wasn't a big fan of the cheese with the cornbread. Cornbread was still good nonetheless. But let's get into what I've been waiting for. This guy right here. Ooh, if you want some of that butter. Great texture of the bread. That standard, nice sesame seed flavor. Yeah, good. Delicious, complimentary bread. Enjoyed it. I mean, yeah. When you have the cornbread though, take the cheese out. Have it by itself. Also, let me grab one of these peppers real quick. I mean, I'm a Paisan. Peppers, could always have them with cheese, without cheese. That tasted great. Loved it. I mean, thanks for that complimentary bread, for sure. But, take the cheese off. And here we have some New England clam chowder and lobster bisque. First, I'm gonna take a bite of that New England clam chowder. Ooh, get some of those potatoes in there too. Comes hot. Those potatoes definitely melt in your mouth as soon as it goes in the, as soon as it hits the mouth. Also, creamy, rich. Yeah, that was definitely good. That was good. I'm a huge fan of New England, New England clam chowder. Whenever I go to a seafood restaurant, always wanna get that as an appetizer. Did not disappoint here. Now, let's do that lobster bisque. It smells lobstery. Cheers. It was delicious. The bits of lobster in it were, were, were chewy. Had a nice aftertaste of that lobster flavor, but as soon as you put that in your, in your mouth, the creaminess of this one as well was just my goodness. I just said I'm a New England clam chowder guy. If I'm choosing one or the other, I'm getting this lobster biscuit with clam chowder, I believe. Now we had a lot of plates coming, but 
buffet clams, one of my favorite. Something I was very excited about. Make sure you squeeze that lemon when you get on the, when these bad boys come out. Ooh. Oh yeah. Here we go. Of course the clam, soft, juicy. It's a very salty breaded crust though, I will say that. That was very salty. Um, make sure when you get these guys, you have your water right next to you because man, I took a, I took a bite of that and whew, there was no shortage of salt on that. Yeah, <laughs> when I'm biting it, I can almost, I can almost feel the uh, salt crunching in my mouth as I'm eating it. I mean, I understand it's also part of the, the bread that they do use that they bake the clams on, but very salty, this guy. Just be aware when you're ordering this. Now, we have the shrimp. Whew. Look at this beautiful presentation, by the way. They got it, they got it. I'm expecting these guys to be a little spicy. Mm. All right. That'll clear the sinuses, I'll tell you that much. As soon as you take that bite, whew, the peppers and the, the spicy paste, it just whew, comes out. My nose is clear. I can smell everything now. I can smell the ocean, which is just right over there. Ooh, it is spicy. So you get these both of these plates. You're going to need the water for the saltiness of this one. You're going to need some water. You might even need some milk to deal with the spiciness of this. With that said, man, the flavor on this hits your mouth, and I loved it. Maybe I'm a little bit crazy because it was a little bit painful, but still, man, wow. Good stuff, good stuff. So before we dig into everything, let's take a look at what we got. Now y'all gotta take a look at this. The spread, it looks beautiful. This Pacific Northwest wood roasted fish. We got the whole striped bass. And then right here, I also got the skewer, which comes with the lobster tails, scallops, shrimp, king crab, swordfish, as well as a filet of sole or some Cajun rice. And then we got the Sammy's Broiled combination. It comes with shrimp, scallops, filet fish, baked clams, baked mussels, and half of a lobster tail. All of it looks phenomenal. So, before I get started with my main course, I'm gonna try some of that striped bass. It's right here. You saw us cut off a little piece of it. Watch out for those bones. I will say that, that fish, seasoned very well i liked it um there was a hint of spiciness with the with the fish but all in all it tastes fresh it's almost like they got it fresh out of the ocean cooked it in the back and then served it right here my goodness haven't really had too many fish that taste as good as that guy so not disappointed at all surprise you don't know what fries taste like i don't need to review that but that fish man oh man that's something you gotta keep your eye on. Now, for the main event. This is what I got. The skewer, more than enough food. I mean, just across the board, everything. Lobster tail, shrimp, king crab, it's phenomenal. I don't even know where to start. I don't know where to start. I'll just start at the end, the lobster tail. Ooh, yeah. It's nice, hot, steaming. Mm. Make sure you dip this guy in your butter. I kind of wish I saved that for last, best for last always, because this came out steamed to perfection, delicious, tender, and has that delicious lobster flavor. Wow. And that melted butter also added, added to it. Now we got the king crab. Ooh. Gotta get that guy open. <clears throat> Crab, it's good, but I'm not a fan of all the all the work it takes to get that meat. There we go. That had a little bit of a salty salty flavor to it. The crab, tender, obviously has that taste of the ocean. You know, when you're going when you're on a boat and you kind of smell the ocean and the breeze and everything just hitting your face, that flavor was in this king crab. This right here, this looks like a scallop. I'm not sure if it is a scallop, but I'm just continuing to run. Oh, this is the soulfish. Here we go. 
tender, delicious. Has that, it tasted like it did have the the bread from the from the baked clam on it. Same type of breading, so it was a little bit salty. It wasn't as powerful as the baked clams were, but still, good nonetheless. And then here we go for the shrimp. We are counting through it. This is a nice sized shrimp, by the way. I mean, my goodness. Bigger than my eyes. Not that I have the biggest eyes, but, but they're, you know, still. Here we go. I'll tell you what, this skewer all in all, very good. Not disappointed that I that I ordered it. If I had to rank everything, obviously, the ends were one and two. And what I mean by the ends, the lobster tail was at the very end. That was number one. The king crab was at the end, was at the other end, number two. That fish, the tenderness of, of meat that it did have was number three. And then this shrimp, not bad, four. But that's how I'd rank it. All in all, a delicious plate nonetheless. Way to go. Sammy knocking it out of the park. Well, folks, that concludes our day here at Sammy's. And let me tell you, not disappointed. If anything stuck out above the rest, it had to be that shrimp. The shrimp was phenomenal. It was spicy. Man, kind of burnt my... Uh, Burnt my, burnt my mouth on, on the way in, but it was delicious. And then on top of that, that skewer that I got across the board, all the seafood that was on that skewer platter was great. I love this place. And let me tell you, if I'm ever back in City Island, it'd be hard not to come back, even though I like to go to different restaurants, as you all as you all can see. I mean, great choice coming to Sammy's. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for the views. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you like the content, give us a subscribe. And Weekend's only a few days away. I hope you have a great day and a better week. Take it easy, y'all. Bye-bye. First, I'm gonna take a bite of that New England.